a look at what a real conservative leader with backbone sounds like. This is Florida Governor Ron DeSantis this week. And what I've said in the state of Florida, because we've taken on woke corporations, we've taken on ESG, obviously in the classroom, we've battled a lot of ideologies. But what I've said is that the state of Florida is the state, uh, is the place where woke goes to die. Uh, we are not going to let this state... We're not going to let this state descend into some type of woke dumpster fire. And he doesn't just talk the talk, he walks the walk. He was attacked mercilessly by the media and Democrats throughout 2020 and 2021 for ditching lockdowns, school closures and mask mandates. He was proven right time and time again. The proof is in the enormous numbers of Americans migrating to Florida from Democrat states like New York and California. The Santas had the guts to take on woke corporates like Disney and make them pay for their divisive and often destructive far-left activism. He is the real deal. He understands what conservatives, ordinary people care about and is not afraid to push back on the left's relentless culture wars. Unlike our largely spineless faux conservatives, who would rather pander to those who will never vote for them rather than leading into con consequential social issues. When it mattered most, DeSantis stood up for freedom and the rights of the individual, including the right of children to be educated. Now, some people say, hey, these local governments wanted to lock down businesses. They wanted to force mandates. They wanted to keep the kids locked out of school. Yeah, you're damn right I overruled them on that because they were wrong. I tell you, the Republican race is down to two. Forget about the others. It will be a Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis. May the best man win.